Alright, what's going on guys? It's Jeff. Yesterday, we had Ubisoft forward. This whole weekend and everything, we had a whole bunch of uh, different events and stuff showing games. We had the Xbox Showcase, we had the Call of Duty Direct stuff, and then we had the Ubisoft Forward event, which showed things like the uh, Star Wars Outlaws, the newest Assassin's Creed, stuff like that. But also, in the middle of that whole thing, we ended up getting a little trailer from x Defiant for the Season 1 reveal. So real quick, before I go and watch this and kind of like talk about everything and my thoughts on it, I want to thank everybody so much for all the love and support on all the videos. My reaction to the Black Ops 6 uh, reveal overall actually ended up hitting number seven trending not just trending on gaming i mean number seven trending on all of youtube it's been really fun to be able to go and play a whole bunch of different games and then also coming up within the next what like 10 days or so we're back to some elden ring but before that i'm on x defiant and my objective here is to get every single gun gold in x defiant before the elden ring dlc because once that dlc comes out i'm gonna definitely be it's gonna be a few days all of the videos that i'm gonna make i'm gonna fight all of the bosses that i can possibly find i'm not gonna skip anything i'm gonna look through every single little nook and cranny that I possibly can. So if you're looking forward to that and looking forward to X Defiant updates, let me know down in the comment section and by leaving a like on this video. I believe I'm about seven weapons or so off of uh, getting all of the weapons gold. I think there's 24 weapons in total. I'm at like 18 or 19 of them at the moment. I have everything but the LMGs and like four assault rifles done. I got all the pistols done, all the shotguns done, all the marksman rifles, all the sniper rifles, all the SMGs. Yeah, anyway, X Defiant season one reveal. Ubisoft original. Now, right here, immediately, we already have our first, like, little teaser of the thing. They, they explain it in the video, but this is a gadget from one of the characters in Rainbow Six. So, as soon as anybody that plays Rainbow Six saw this, they're like, oh, okay. Rafika. And then there's that new character right there. Boom. New faction, GSK. I have no idea what that stands for. I don't play a whole lot of Rainbow Six. I played a decent amount, you know what I mean? I got like 50 hours or something in there, not that many. I'm still terrible. I don't have any game, you know, knowledge or anything like that. I don't like search and destroy type games, especially in an environment where I am just not comfortable or familiar. I barely want to do search and destroy on Call of Duty, let alone on a game that I have no idea what's going on. Okay, so he's running with a riot shield following behind him. So we got three free new weapons. Uh, I'm going to assume that these all come out with the update as soon as it starts, whenever the uh, starting date is anyway. But if we go back here, we can totally see Phantom Faction actually already has a ride shield, but they don't seem to really work the same way because first of all, this guy seems to be moving a lot faster and the shield seems to be just shaped differently. Thing is, it's got something on the front of it and I have no idea what that does. Also, you can see the new sniper rifle over here. You can see him actually swap over between uh, using it as a full shield and he can turn it sideways and shoot over top of it with a pistol. So boom, we got a sniper rifle right here. We got the L11-5. Everybody knows the L11. The beauty, watch it. Bow. And then we also got the sawed-off shotgun right here, which, I, I mean, it's surprising that it's even a different weapon than the regular double barrel that we already have. I feel like that should just be an attachment, but it's apparently going to be an entirely different weapon. So there that is. And we get the first person view of that guy. Oh, that's what's on the front of it. It's actually a flashbang thing on a riot shield. That is absolutely disgusting. Gross. Flashbangs him, kills him, nothing he can do. He already probably couldn't do much against this shield to begin with. And then the poor guy goes and gets flashed, and you already know how I feel about those. One new map per month. So I'm assuming the season is going to last three months, and then we end up getting season two. So each and every single month, I assume on the same date, maybe they might move it around here and there. I'm going to assume at the beginning of the months, though, because when you see what's coming up here, there's the date for it, and it's at the beginning of the month. So it seems like we'll get a new map probably at the start or middle of every month. That's my assumption, if they're trying to space it out evenly anyway. So we'll take a look at the maps. So we got Clubhouse here. You know what's really... I know that this is not my first reaction here and i'm actually happy that i did not record and try to upload my first reaction to this because my stupid ass looked at this and went wait this looks exactly like that rainbow six map that i played on before i recognize this but my stupid ass is still not recognizing that x defiant is literally a bunch of ubisoft games i didn't know that this was the actual map now i don't know if the map will be changed around for the sake of you know balance or flow or whatever in comparison obviously a search and destroy bomb objective game is going to be way different from an arcade objective run and gun kind of thing so I, I don't know if it's any different or whatever i'm sure rainbow six players can recognize any differences here but generally speaking it does look very very close to the original clubhouse which is really cool i don't know how good it's gonna be but it's there slide through the little hole over there do get sniped in the face with the l11 that is so i mean the little bipod is a little uh annoying looking but it's fine out here looks like it's got a whole bunch of different things scattered here for a whole bunch of different uh cover and stuff i assume that this is still outside of clubhouse i mean with rainbow six brain i'm assuming that there's probably supposed to be like a camera up here and all this stuff but yeah clubhouse is there 
boom, slide through the little hole over there, get the snipe. And then we got another map here called Daytona. The colors, I mean, every single map on this game is very, very colorful. It's very lush. And one of the strongest things for X Defiant, in my opinion, is definitely the map design and the overall aesthetic of the game. And also, you can see this mine thing on the wall. Yeah, that's Daytona. Very, very colorful. Throw this stuff out. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even notice that. So he throws a grenade and it actually shoots the grenade out of the sky. So is this a trophy system of some kind? It looks more like a mine than a trophy, but it acts like a trophy system, apparently. Also at the bottom, you can see that's the shield right there in the middle for the character. You're playing as the new faction. And then this is, I'm assuming, the same thing as this. Then we got this other map here called Rockefeller, which has this like weird little construction playground thing. I don't know if this is based on anything else like in these other Ubisoft games. I'm not entirely sure. But this looks like a pretty small map to me. Like if the map actually ends like with this little building right here and it just goes around and it goes around the other way as well and it matches on both sides like a lot of the maps do they tend to be pretty three lane and matching on both sides generally just for the sake of balance and flow i prefer it that way this looks like one of them small maps like a uh, arena level i could be wrong but perspective wise this looks like a smaller map which i'm very excited for colors look great got the new sniper rifle there hits the shot Guy was sliding through. This is the inside area. This dude, dead sec flying across the screen. You actually see down at the bottom here, there's two different symbols here. I don't, I don't recognize these. Am I stupid? Can anyone tell me what these symbols are? Got a little previews. New mode, capture the flag. So this game is very, very objective based. Even though I play it like, you know, a typical team deathmatch thing, which by the way, team deathmatch is confirmed to be coming soon. They're working on it, but also the search and destroy mode is also being pushed up. Recently, uh, Mark tweeted that search and destroy was planned for a little bit later, but they're actually pushing it up to get it out sooner. The mode is just called bomb, I think. Not search and destroy, it's just called bomb, but you know, general stuff. Name doesn't really matter. We got the capture of the flag here. They got the flag right there. Grab the shit, run for your life. New ranked progression. So you can see right here that we got all these different ranks here. So I'm going to assume it goes something like you got like this silver and stuff right there. Then it turns red. Then it turns green and turquoise, purple. Got a top 500 uh, thing right here. I don't really know if I'm going to be playing ranked. I would need like an actual squad in ranked unless there's like a separate solo ranking, but I highly doubt that. But yeah, new ranked progression plus rewards. At the moment, the ranked mode has like a, a trial thing going on. So none of these rankings are out, but they're coming. He's got some symbol on his arm. I don't really know what that means. I don't recognize it. He actually looks really cool though. This is the same character that has these uh, weird things. I'm not entirely sure what they're named. So we got all that stuff. See these characters and stuff. We'll find out what they do. Looked like barbed wire on the ground. Also some new stuff right here. Boom. So another reason I'm happy that my stupid ass isn't doing this as a first reaction is because I didn't know for the longest time if this was actually meant to be the mastery camo or not. My dumbass didn't recognize down in the bottom right that it says new weapon mastery skins. So yeah, this is a new weapon mastery skin i didn't know if this was considered a store bundle thing because right after this we get store bundle stuff but in the bottom i didn't see new store items and bundle this is definitely separate this looks like this is the next mastery camel that's supposed to be coming that hopefully is going to be the thing that you end up unlocking when you get everything gold now the thing is there's supposedly multiple uh leaked mastery camos now i haven't seen any of them or anything like that i wish i could have seen them but i haven't seen any of them besides this one named pristine but i don't really know if this is if they're gonna move the name around or what but this one is purple and i haven't seen this one yet the one that was pristine looked kind of silver but this one is like this deep purple it's like reflective and stuff looks really really nice got the store bundles and stuff looks really cool and shit the effects are gonna get more and more crazy the nice thing about this game not being grounded in like all that realism shit where it just bogs you down with a bunch of like kind of boring stuff they can get crazy with the skins immediately as much as they want yeah there's a little bit of fatigue whenever there's a lot of really crazy stuff on the screen but also i mean fatigue from overstimulation versus fatigue from not being stimulated at all you know it goes both ways or gameplay and stuff know those maps the shield guy got the trophy system things on the wall flashbang shield new sniper rifle watch me boom x defined season one gsk coming july 2nd obviously free to play no skill-based matchmaking or anything like that not very far away plenty of time for me to be able to actually go and get you know everything gold especially if the new mastery camo whatever the name is is going to drop on update day now also the day before on july 1st they do an entire uh full reveal and they do a debriefing or an x debrief just talking about everything in detail the day before i know that this is a minute and a half long trailer or whatever and i managed to talk you know i'm assuming over eight minutes or ten minutes or something at this point but yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comment section i think that was pretty much everything in the trailer that i could see let me know if i missed anything and if you guys are excited and uh yeah it's been jeb guys later